Hello everyone. Today Friday we are going over the answers. I hope everyone finished your homework today. Let's begin. Page 418. We're looking at this picture graph. There are four children on the swings. One, two, three, four. There are how many children on the slide in the slide? How many chose the slide? One, two. Two chose the slide. There are more children on the on the swing. showing a picture graph about the drinks that we choose for lunch. We have milk, juice, and water. And remember, each little picture stands for one child. How many children drink milk? Well, let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight children drink milk. I love milk. Mm, I would choose milk too. Number six, how many children in all drink juice and water? So both of them, that means I need to add. Count them all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight children drink water and juice. How many fewer children drink water than milk? Fewer is our keyword, fewer we're looking at the water and the juice. Remember, look for the shortest row, draw your line and circle what's left, and that's how many fewer or how many more. How many more children drink milk than juice? Milk and juice, so we're comparing those two. Well, here it is. Let's go ahead and draw our line. This is the shortest line, so I'm going to draw lump the line here and circle what's left. One, two, three, four, five. Five more children drink milk than juice. Let's take a look at this one. How many children in all drink milk, juice, and water? That means I need to add them up. Count them all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 children all together can drink all of the different kinds of drinks. Number 10, four new children joined the class. Okay, so four children came. 1, 2, 3, 4, four children came in. They drink juice at lunch. Now, how many more children drink juice than water? Well, let's go ahead and include the four in the picture graph. For juice, juice, four more children join in. So let's draw those children in our picture graph to find out how many more. There you go. Now we can compare the children that drink water. This one right here. This picture graph is telling us about our favorite animals at the zoo. Well, let's see how many children. How many children chose zebras and seals all together? When you see this word all together, that means you need to add. When you see the word and, you need to add. So let's count them all together. The zebras and the seals. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six all together. Oh, and look, they want you to add. So let's go ahead and add. We are writing our number sentence now. So zebras, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five zebras plus how many seals? One. So plus one equals six. Six children all together.
How many children chose lions? Well, let's count how many cho children chose lions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight children chose lions. All right, you guys. Da -da -da -da. We're almost done. Last page. Please keep your eyes on the pages. Make sure you're doing your work if you haven't done it. tells us that we need to subtract. So let's go ahead and write our number sentence, subtract. How many more chose bicycles? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chose biking. And how many chose running? One, two, three, four. So eight minus four equals two. That means two more children chose biking than running. Everyone, you guys, you guys are so good. I am so proud of all of you. I thank you for watching all the videos and I sure hope that you're learning a lot through our videos. And say...